What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my videos because you guys, you have like wanted to see this for so long and I've just like always skipped it. Today I'm here finally doing it and I actually asked in a poll in my last video. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it but some of you saw and the majority of you guys really wanted to see like randomness type of videos so that's when i'm gonna be editing today i'm gonna edit a randomness video so we're gonna get started i'm just gonna tell you guys i record all my videos with bandicam the full version of it and i edit all my videos with wonder share filmora and you guys keep asking me what i edit with and what i record with and that's also written down in every single description box in my videos so yeah so i'm just gonna like go through what i have in my editor like just to give you an overview of what it looks like so first we have like the my album which is always there when you start with filmora and here i have pretty much like all kinds of overlays and like memes vines everything fun stuff you know kind of and then i also have like these glitch effects you know vhs i don't know yeah pretty much like that so that's there and then i have the video of the week it's spelled a little like weirdly though <laughs> and that's where i put all my like clips for my videos so i can easily like start editing them and everything like that and then i have another section for all my green screens as you can see and uh, here are a lot of like triggered fire green screen all these kinds of smoke white flash you know all that kind of stuff which i mostly use for like music videos but also for those randomness videos so that's what i have there and then we're gonna move on to the music section if you see there's like 205 files so here's every single song and sound effect that i ever have used in my videos <laughs> maybe i've deleted some of them but most of them are still here and then i have the text and credit section and i have this one called custom which i always use and here i have just like samples which i have made myself this one let's see it's like happy new year yeah thanks for watching and here we have the randomness and let's go <laughs> like yeah you get the idea and then we have of course the transitions i don't have that many favorites i don't actually use the like favorite section that much <laughs> how many times have i said section already in this video and then we have the filters same Thing here and overlays and elements I actually don't use elements at all as you can see I I don't have any in my favorites so yeah and split screen I've like used that in one of my videos <laughs> I'm gonna make a randomness videos for you guys and I'm just gonna import all the files I'm just gonna go quickly through how I get access to my clips and everything like that so basically I have this one map called Bandicam where every single clip which i film in bandicam uh like pops up into and here you can see like stuff that i haven't put into any of the maps i have here i have like random files comments edited pictures glitches everything like that you know so then i have this one called video for youtube and that is where i put all my clips for the youtube video i think randomness videos are kind of hard to make because you have to like find so much new content that no one has taken <laughs> that's like impossible but yeah so i also have this map called random clips so i have here pretty much everything random from 2016 wow that's a long time ago i recently just put all of these here and i'm just gonna go and add some of the most previous ones in this video so now i have already put some clips in here and now i want to have like the randomness intro i don't know what that's gonna be uh, i'm just gonna like freestyle something i don't even know <laughs> i should probably like watch some of my old randomness video to get like some inspiration because i really don't remember how those are so i just watched some of the intros for my randomness videos there was like in some of them this derp song and i think i'm gonna continue with that line because i think that's pretty funny so we're gonna go ahead and 
I thought about like choosing one of these campfire images because I think those are right, like pretty iconic. It looks like I'm burning down right now. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have this one chosen. And I edit all my like thumbnails and pretty much every single photo that's in my video in PicMonkey. Even if it's not like free actually, I just screenshot the whole picture when it's ready with Bandicam. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and make the intro now. So, um, I'm gonna probably have this picture like that. So now it's in 16 by 9. I'm just gonna go ahead and do some like quick, quick changes in here. So now I screenshot the first picture. This one is gonna start like there. And then when the next hit is gonna come, it's gonna be a different picture. And I'm just gonna add some like random overlays to these. So now I added this Thomas Tank and Jean face in here. And that was just like a PNG picture. But like anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and add another picture like overlay and I'm gonna take away the background so I can just get the face of mine yeah basically that gonna flatten down the layers so I can do some painting over this picture. I think that looks pretty good and I think that's gonna be basically it what I'm gonna do for this picture so now I'm back in Filmora yeah now I think I'm gonna put over the derp song I just basically searched derp nothing else and I'm gonna put it in here and then I'm gonna cut the music or split the music so it starts where it actually starts you know and I think I'm gonna have like a black screen right before this so you know it get, gives that a little like space before it starts yep. i like to do that like that yep. i like to listen for the music and basically it caught like that so yep. i'm gonna yep. Yep. okay that's exactly and now we have the second screen which has all the overlays then i'm gonna ha go ahead and probably add the punch sound effect and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and add it in both splits in here i think that is pretty good and pretty much at the same time here it's a little late, this clip. And there I'm gonna put this rainbow beep sound effect, which... No, it's not a sound effect. Yeah, it's actually a sound effect, but the video is in there too. And this is the one I use all the time, guys, all the time. Yeah, this clip has those black bars, so I always crop it, like, however I want it. It is, like, 16 by... F nine <laughs> so i actually like to split this rainbow beep sound a little bit too yeah 
I think that's pretty good. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the text in here. And I'm gonna use the randomness sample. Okay, so now I have the text here. Okay, I need to change the three into a six. Yeah, that's good. And I just went ahead and changed the color of it. Mm, I don't know why, but Filmer decided to like switch all my samples into Arial. <laughs> but I decided to go with the Agency FB Negreta. I don't even know how to pronounce that. And now I want to make sure that it doesn't like go over any of my beautiful overlays. So I think I'm gonna like, I don't know. It's like kind of good, like right there. This is what it looks like. So now I'm gonna start with editing the first clip. Uh, it's this one when I kind of like walk backwards and then I see that my shadow is in the water. So I kind of want it to start somewhere like here so i'm gonna split that right there and then i thought about like adding a text right before this happens and i'm just gonna have the black screen again and now i'm gonna go back to the text the custom and take the aerial and it's right here and then i'm just gonna change this text I have now placed the text in the middle of the screen and I will just lengthen it so that it is in the same length as the black screen. And then I'm gonna add some music into this and I actually really often use these like Kevin MacLeod's Matt MacLeod. I, I don't know how you pronounce that but anyways, his music I think it's really great for video editing and it's not even copyrighted so yeah you probably already know which ones i'm talking about yeah you get the idea so i think i'm gonna have this one I think I'm gonna split this right where the next beat like comes. And then I'm gonna split the music and delete the rest of it. And now I want to have my like <coughs> suspense sound effect. And I have this one where there are pretty many and I'm gonna use one of these. Yeah, you get it. And then I want like a zoom in effect and I think I'm gonna uh, actually have this as a picture so it doesn't move how i do that is i go to the very beginning of this clip and i take a screenshot of it right where it says my album there's gonna be the snapshot here so i'm gonna go grab that and now i have like a screenshot of it and i want it to be just the shadow here's a little tip for you guys sometimes even if the resolution is like 16 by 9 it's still gonna get these small black bars somewhere. You see those? How I get those away is I just like zoom in so that there are no black bars left. And that can take some time, but it will turn out great. I think this is much better. It is kind of in the middle, so I think that's gonna be good. I just realized that I need to have my filter in here. And I actually always use the same filter for my videos, I really like it. And what I do is I go to advanced and then I go to preset. And here I have like all the normal ones which are already in Filmora when you install it. And then we have custom and there we can find the ones that I've made myself. I have these like really old ones for videos you can see it doesn't look good at all <laughs> i don't get how i used to have this but the one i'm using right now is this i think it is sso videos it looks like this and then also another tip when i edit my star stable videos i notice that they also have these black bars as you can see so what i do is i put every single clip of mine into 16 by 9 and you can see the black bars just got removed. 
and then i think i'm gonna like continue with the music and i should have actually like saved the song and just put it right here but i didn't do that so what i have to do is i'm gonna just drag this so it is longer and then i'm gonna cut it exactly where i did last time like that so now it basically looks like this So that's actually some really simple editing and now I'm gonna go ahead and put the same effect. I'm gonna split this right here. I'm gonna move the song a little bit further away and then I'm gonna copy the sound effect and I will put it again here so it is kind of in the same position as here. And I'm gonna do the same snapshot thing which I did earlier. Basically gonna do the same effect as in here, pretty much. And now I want the effect to be a little bit shorter right here. And I'm gonna delete both. And then I'm gonna continue on the same line and just work this till the end. And this is gonna be shorter as I work through the clip and then it's gonna eventually end Somewhere in the middle, I like to just render the video. I talked about this a little bit in the previous video of mine. I can put the timing right here. That basically makes the video go smooth, so I can just see what it looks like and what it will look like. The shorter clip you have, the faster it will be, of course. And it can lag a little bit, of course, because these are such small cuts right here. And then of course one of my favorite effects is making the like ear rape <laughs> so i'm gonna copy paste that and then i go to customize and this doesn't always work with the default setting so i'm gonna just go ahead and do something random and then i'm just gonna make all of these much higher and like you can hear it just gets like worse <laughs> I think we're gonna put that a little more like higher so yeah so it really like makes that jump scare because that's really like my type of video and then i think i'm gonna add the shake effect which i have pretty often too and i pretty much always use the one called extreme if i really want that like bad shaking and i actually like to have the frequency as the highest and the position x as the lowest and then the position y and the last one pretty high up because it's the one that goes like sideways and i like to have that really high up and then i'm not gonna have this like rgb separate image it basically makes that like chromatic effect in there but i quite don't like that i'm just gonna have it off and the motion blur too and this is what it basically looks like it's really lagged right now I think I'm gonna have just the black screen. I don't want to overuse that this one and Then we're gonna move on to the next clip basically. So that's the first one. <clears throat> I'm gonna have this right here And I'm gonna go search for some other material before this pops up Okay, so I just found a really good demonstration clip for this video from one of my really old videos. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and crop this. This is not gonna be that interesting or hard to edit. So I think I'm just gonna skip a little bit like forward, you get it? Okay, so now while I'm editing this clip, I wanted to have this like Wii sound effect. Yeah, basically I wanted to have that and then another one. But it's gonna be like a few pitches down so it's gonna be like yeah it's gonna be more fun you know right there i think i'm gonna cut it and then i'm gonna copy paste this and put it onto another music line so we basically have it twice now but i'm gonna go ahead and change the pitch of the other one 
something like that and i want to have a zoom in effect here so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and what i basically do is i just go to this same place where i have the crop and i'm gonna go ahead and go to pen and zoom and oh yeah i'm gonna have it in 16 by 9 and then i'm gonna put the end to mm, like i try to have it in the middle as close as possible yeah i think that's pretty good i wanted to have it like kind of louder starting right here and actually you can't do that in filmora i don't know about the other video editors but at least in filmora you won't be able to do that so what i do is i add a new track and it's gonna be like i think i'm gonna add four right now so that means i have more music tracks and i'm just gonna go ahead and copy paste both of them and then i'm gonna move them right below the other ones so it's pretty loud by now i think and like right here i'm gonna cut this and then i'm gonna add the fade in so okay you can't do that much nowadays <laughs> in filmora but it's actually like gonna be louder by the end and that's why i want the effect to be about and i also want the like kind of e-rape here so i'm gonna do the same thing as i did last time okay i actually want a few more music tracks maybe six so we're gonna do just the same thing as before But I think I'm gonna add some more ear rape to this, <laughs> you know, so I get that like full effect. Right here, <laughs> I'm gonna crop the video and put like really loudly that uh, ping effect, you know, the iPhone. Yeah, I'm gonna make that also ear rape. So <laughs> yeah, you pretty much get the idea what, where I'm going with this. I don't know actually what that sounds like right now, but I think that's gonna be somewhat okay. I think I'm gonna have to add the volume a bit since these are really bad earphones as I said earlier. And I also want here the same thing as before, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make the pitch more down. <laughs> Yeah, and that's where I'm gonna head the end of the clip, and then we're gonna move on to the next one. And this time I want a text again. I'm gonna put like Roblox in SSO, Star Stable instead. Oh, and then I also forgot that I really like to mute the clips, uh, but especially in randomness videos, I don't do that that often. But in the first clip right here, I did that because I really wanted to have like the music. Yeah. So now I basically added some Roblox music or it was like a remix, but anyways. And then I'm gonna do just the crop thing again. And now I'm gonna go ahead and remove those both. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and copy paste this black screen and the aerial text and put it instead to Minecraft and Star Stable because I just got that idea. And I'm also gonna add the, I think it's called Wet Hands. And I'm just gonna have the same clips right here. And I think I'm now gonna do that zoom in effect again. <laughs> like, oh god, I'm so reusing it right now, but yeah that's just how it is and i'm gonna zoom in right into this and i'm gonna do a black and white filter right on top of it like that and here comes another trick so because i just made this pen and zoom in right here 
it's gonna continue in the next clip also so what i do is i just like crop it but if i were to crop this now it's gonna be cropped as the start screen resolution thingy so what i need to do is i need to switch these so now the start is right here and now when i crop it it's gonna be that one and as you can see the black bars popped up again it sometimes does that and do not stress about that because i like to just mess around and like try to find what would be the right resolution and i think this is pretty good i can't see any black bars right now and now because i'm moving the the screen i think i'm gonna put it into slow-mo instead of just taking a screenshot of it and i think i'm gonna cut it right there and i just deleted all the footage after that so now it looks like this and now I want there to be a sad face, so I'm gonna take the aerial text again and I'm just gonna make a sad face. Actually, we're gonna use the crying face, just adjust it the way I want it to be. And then I'm gonna shorten it like that. And now I want there to be a teardrop. <laughs> I like to use that a lot, so I'm gonna go to my album and then I have it right here. So I'm just gonna add it as an overlay and split it right after all of that is done. Okay, that wasn't supposed to go like that. There we go. I'm not gonna make it smaller yet because if I now make it smaller and after that put a transition into this overlay it will actually be put to normal again and that sucks i know because i've done that a lot of times by mistake but we're gonna have i think maybe this fade slide downwards it would look like this but now we can start with adjusting it to what we want it to be i think that's pretty good and i was about to go for an e-rape but i thought of like just having the roblox death sound we're gonna add that in here and i think i'm gonna make it in slow-mo but just so it is in the length of these other clips that's pretty good and <laughs> I thought about going for this, so I'm gonna copy paste it right there. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna shorten it a little bit like that. And then we're going to go to the next clip. I think we're having this one. And I wanna have the Chakaron, Macaron, whatever that is, <laughs> sung right here. Wait, that, that makes me laugh every time, but like, I I think I need to switch it up a little bit. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna do the same pan and zoom in effect. Like, I split it right there and then I'm gonna zoom in and just have it as a cropped picture. And for this one, I wanted to be cropped the whole time on the player. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start where this horse rider <laughs> starts. You get it? And then I'm go gonna go to the end and have it zoomed in on her again. Just like that. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else to that. And I'm just gonna cut this song. And then I actually want to have this clip also included, which is like me and my sister when we were both sitting on the... 
the chair right here. I'm gonna have it start right here. And I'm gonna have the Star Stable music, so I don't need to add anything right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna have this cropped also, a little bit closer. And right there, I'm gonna make the snapshot thing again, and I'm gonna have it zoomed. And now I want to have the surprise bad word in here <laughs> sound effect. I hope all of you aren't underage. <laughs> like oh god i think i'm gonna do the exact same era thingy right here you guys know me by now surprise motherfucker surprise motherfucker and i think i'm gonna have the same like pitch thingy right here <laughs> Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And I'm gonna remove it. I don't think I need anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next clip. Now I don't wanna have the sounds in this video. So I'm going to put this one. And I'm gonna have that right here. I want the zoom in effect also in here. <laughs> And right here I want to have a little speed because this is getting already a little bit boring so I'm gonna speed it up and I'm gonna have it as the normal speed here and that's where I'm gonna pause it again and take a snapshot and then I'm gonna edit right there I want the music to stop right here and i'm gonna have like what is it space bar sound effect space bar yeah and then i actually found these arrows in the elements section and i'm gonna go ahead and download that if it gets ready sometimes these do not so that's why i just go for a png picture from the internet but if it works, we will use that, and right now it doesn't seem to work. And I want there to be like two arrows after each other. Okay, like this. Okay, it's PNG, so we can just use that. And now I'm gonna put this as an overlay right here. And I want it to be like sideways, so that's what I'm gonna do. But we can maybe have a shadow to it, or no, let's, let's have a border. Um, I'm gonna have like um, distance, no distance, blur, and transparency, maybe like that. And I want it to be white, so yeah. And now it looks like this. And then I'm gonna have the same spacebar sound effect and just copy paste it and put it right where I slowed down basically then I'm gonna have it again here I know this is a little bit overusing again but if I find some better effects I will add them here I don't know yet and then I'm going to add this picture as an overlay basically this is a little bit hard to explain, but I will try to explain this as best as I can. So now we're going to go and make a green screen out of this. And that's a little bit hard because there isn't anything green behind him or anything else that would be like the same color all around him. The green screen didn't work. So what we have to do is to find another idea what we could do with this clip okay i kind of have an idea i'm gonna delete these both and add the snapshot right after this and then i'm just gonna have like be pretty zoomed in and 
it's a little bit hard because I would want them to be the same size. So what I have to do <laughs> is I actually have to take new snapshots of this. And first of all, I need to crop these the size I want them to be like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of it. And now when we have the snapshots, I'm gonna press the undo button so we have the same size as before. And now what I can do, I can split this video and now we have the both cropped images without this video actually being cropped. You maybe get the idea, you maybe don't, that's completely fine. You kind of understand it once you have done this for a while. <laughs> I also think it's time for the music right now and I'm gonna have the music right here okay so now we're gonna have the uh, second cropped image and I think we're gonna have it right after this one and I'm not sure yet how big the um, splits are gonna be so I'm just gonna go ahead and mess around you know I think that's pretty okay, so I'm going to copy paste these and see what it looks like just a few times like that. And as you can see, it's a little bit out of beat, or maybe you don't see it, I don't know. I'm gonna continue with just copy pasting here. And I think that's gonna be the end of the clips. And now for the space effect, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I think I have an idea of like making this transparent so it kind of like blends in with the like basic pictures. You get the idea. I just noticed that my like shooting stars memes have have been a little bit different each time so that's a good thing i think the linear dodge add effect is the best with uh, the intensity level one of the green screen uh, and then i also need to resize this a little bit because sometimes uh, there are borders as you can see they are really light but they're still there so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna make the overlay a little bit bigger so it basically fits the whole screen i think that's pretty good and i probably want to have right here when it's halfway through i want the clips to be a little bit bigger and cropped you know i'm just gonna take the first one right here this is actually gonna be really hard but yeah, we kind of have to try it. If we were to crop this right now and we would have to crop the next clip, that would be really hard to get like the exact same ratio. So what I like to do is I like to use the pen and zoom effect and basically make it right in the middle. And then I will use the swap effect again and crop it like this and as you can see now we have these little black lines again so i'm gonna try and yeah we have to remember these and i'm probably gonna go back here and make sure that the screen resolution is the same in the following clip as in this one Okay, now they shall be the same size. I think they are. Are they? I don't know. <laughs> Should we check it? 184 and 100. Yes, they are. And then I'm gonna go and copy paste the both of those like that. And that's how we got the clip like this. I got a like really great idea because I think this looks like Elvis Presley. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the music right here and just add this picture. And... 
like that. I think I'm gonna have the same uh, spacebar effect again, once again. Uh, but I think it could be like really great to have it right here. And then, yeah, I'm gonna see what I come up with. So now it looks like this. I decided to make it a black screen and the text a little bit shorter so you get the like kind of pause right there. And then it like continues and now I'm gonna go and search for a picture of Elvis. Okay, now I have the picture of him and I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with it. Okay, I actually have an idea. I think I'm gonna go back to PicMonkey and just cut out the face and then I'm gonna make it as an overlay right here and make the same shooting stars effect as here and that's gonna take a little while and guys I just remember that I do not have the full version of the pig monkey so that means I can't cut out the face and have it as a PNG so what I need to do is I need to make a known green screen so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to canvas color make it green i think that's good and then i'm gonna have uh the face as an overlay actually this is like a little bit too small i think that's a better one and now i'm gonna replace right here i think that's pretty good i'm gonna put it to like a good size and then I'm gonna use the eraser tool and put the eraser harness to the fullest. And then I'm gonna start with removing the background. And as you can see now, I'm not doing every single strat affair because that's just gonna be a lot of work. And I do not think it's that necessary. I think that looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same screenshot thing. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add this picture, which I just edited. And I'm gonna use the green screen effect on it. So we're adding it right here. And then we're gonna go here and make the green part of the video disappear, just like that. As you can see, it turned out pretty well, I think. And that's how I basically make these green screens myself. Right there. <laughs> I don't know. I should probably flip it. So I'm going to effects. Flip. This is basically the same clip. So I'm going to take the second one and copy paste that and put right next to it. And then I want it to be the same length. Like that. And I'm gonna have also the head move a little bit forward. I think I'm gonna have the same space effect again. And this time I need to put it as another overlay like that. And that's what it looks like right now. And I want this again. Again, once again to be an e-rape so I think that's pretty good I'm not sure I should maybe put the screen to red I don't know if I'm gonna do that I maybe will see a little bit later but I think this is looking like a little bit boring so I need to switch it up a little bit I do not want to make like the same zoom in effect again because that's gonna be boring and just like repetitive i think i'm gonna make these red and what i like to do is i like to go to advanced and go to the presets and use my own angry effects it's called and this is basically the one i use in almost all my videos so that's what i'm gonna use and then i'm gonna go to the next one and do the same thing 
And now, because I do not want to go through all of these, I'm gonna delete them and replace them with the same effect, like that. And that's what it looks like right now. I'm just gonna watch this over and over again and just see what well, looks good. I actually think it looks pretty okay so I'm gonna leave it like that and we're gonna move on to the next one I'm just having his face as the <laughs> effect right here <laughs> I think it looks like kind of silly and then I have this clip of Mayo sleeping and I'm just gonna do a big zoom in effect and like a snoring sound effect on top of that So I think this looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna download a snoring effect. I have one, but it is like pretty slow. So I just finished editing this clip and I think it looks pretty okay, just like this. And now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna have this clip off. Lisa just like singing her song and I think it would be nice to just put some random overlays like emoji overlays and songs and I don't know I'm just gonna go ahead and mess around and see what looks good because I haven't tried this before and I think it would like kind of be funny <laughs> to have it like that also So right now, I wanted to have the heart emojis on top of Alex's eyes and I realized that the camera is moving at the same time. So I'm gonna share another tip what I like to do. So I go to the pen and zoom in effect and then I try to make both the star and the end screen the same size. It is pretty much the same right now and it can be a little challenging but eventually it will look great so i'm just gonna add in the other heart This is what I've done right now. I first have the normal clip playing right here, and then I have zoomed in on Linda's face with this math equation green screen clip, and I just removed the background and everything and put some like warrior music behind. And that's what it looks like, and then I have the normal clip again. And then for the last one, I have the hearts on Alex's face and this funky music. And I think that looks pretty great. So we're moving on to the next one. Also, one thing that I really discovered myself was that we can actually apply transitions to filters. So I found out a way how to make them myself. And that's just taking any of your filters and as you can see there's no transition button here or anything like that and I basically just split that into many pieces and then the frequency on every one of these are different so it basically grows for every single one and now it basically looks like this 
uh, you can actually see the transition that much, but it is still there. And this doesn't work for the overlays as well. I can show you an example. So let's take one of these lens flares. It starts from the bottom and then moves upwards. And if I want the lens flare to start right here, I can't just play it because I, it will actually start from the beginning. And that's something that will happen with some of these effects. And I can actually show you some like clips where I've really done it. And it takes some time, but once you get used to it, it just goes like, like that. And then for this clip right here, I decided to do like the X-Files theme song or the Illuminati song um, when I basically zoomed in on the Pandora crack at the same time. And uh, here, at the really end, um, <laughs> and I basically just added this uh, same aerial text that I used like all the time. And I go to advanced and then I can just add one more text right here and you see uh, they just get added and yeah that's basically how I get them and I can just choose where they start and basically where, where they end but right now I have them all editing at the same time but yeah that's just what it looks like basically so right now I'm seeing that a glitch occurred and it's this one where, you know, when you can just change the size of your video, uh, when you try to change the end size instead, uh, the black boxes, which are on the side here, which you can just like drag like this, they are not here and that means you can't like change it. So what I do to fix that is I just simply click on this swap button again. And that way I get this uh, smaller clip as the start. As you can see, this is still the end setting and you can't just like change it. But what I do is I just crop the start one as I want it. And I think I'm gonna have it like pretty much in the middle. And then I can swap them. And now we have the start and the end. And now you can see that I still can't change the end screen, but I still have it there since we just switch the places. I think I have finished the video for now, but I still want to show you one of my really favorite effects that I like pretty much overuse again, but it is this one. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that's pretty much just doing the pan and zoom ins. I couldn't actually find one of my older projects where I would have that effect, so I think I'm just gonna explain it to you right here. Uh, the basics are pretty much the same to this, as in the pan and zoom in thingy. Uh, you just basically start from a frame, and then when you zoom in, like this, we have the pan and zoom in. And then you choose the second frame, uh, which is gonna be the cropped picture. From here, you just take the pin and zoom in. And then I just switch the ending frame. And let's let's just look at this. So from here, it zooms in, and then it goes to the next uh, like place. And I like to make the uh, splits really short for it to be like that really shaky effect but still like not a shake and let's just split it right there and then I go back to the crop and zoom in and now I use the swap tool again and now it starts from here and let's put the end like right there and then I just keep going like this and it's pretty simple once you get the idea of it and when you get comfortable with doing that a lot of times and it will take time but that time will only go to good so now it would look like this just without the render tool um it's a little bad as an explanation right now but i hope you get the idea and for now i will not save that because that's not what i was going for so now it's basically the original and for the last few clips, I just decided to go with the same theme. So basically the shake 
like the extreme shake effect. Right here I recorded my voice and then I pitched it to like, yeah, it's six. And uh, it's this one. The record show you reduced terms or words that break Star Stable's rules. Yeah. And then I used this suspense sound effect and I really lowered the bass so that it could be like, I don't know, strong. <laughs> and then I added this sound effect called Wilhelm Scream, I don't know. <laughs> and I just adjusted it to the way I wanted it to be. And then I also again did the uh, extreme shake effect transition thingy which i explained to you already and then here i just added this uh, banging keyboard rage sound effect i like it pretty much and <laughs> it just makes everything much more funnier than just adding normal click sounds exactly and i think i lowered the bass here yeah i clearly did and then I just copy pasted those two sound effects, the suspense sound effect and the Willem scream. And I did the same thing with the shake effect. Right here I have the Jaws theme song, this part. Yeah, it, it's pretty quiet, but I should maybe, yeah. And then once again, we have the same ones. And for this time, instead of having the original Willem scream, I decided to pitch it down to minus four. So it just like switches up a little bit. And then right here, I decided to only have the extreme shift to not like have the transition so it doesn't get too repetitive. And then I added this time two Willem screams on top of each other. Uh, we have the original one and the plus seven and i think it just like gets a little bit like contrasted and i thought that would be nice for a change and then we have the same thing but this time we have three of the wilhelm screams and we have plus 11 we have seven and we have zero and then we have the suspense sound and i think this is the lowest bass that is also in here so that just like tops everything off and then i actually wanted to have like um some glass shatter effect in here but i couldn't find any that like looked good i thought about going with um this one but i tried editing it and it actually didn't look good at all and it didn't last that long and then here in filmora if you have an overlay you cannot change the speed of that clip or whatever it is that you have in there so i couldn't make it last longer than just like five seconds or something and i wanted it to last like from here to here and that would be too long and then i also tried finding some like good shatter sound effects but i couldn't find any i just found this like ice breaking ice i don't know ice cracking sound effects it was a person basically just walking on ice but that didn't go with the video with no cracks you know and i just decided to go with the breaking glass green screen effect and this time i added two of them on top of each other just to switch it up i think i've used this one like the one on the side much more in a few of my videos like at the really end of the video but this time i actually added two so it didn't get too boring or just seem like i always use the same one and also for here i decided to go with the same angry effect that i had earlier but it would have just looked like this you see the difference and i didn't want that much blue to be in there so i went to the adjustments and i put the temperature all the way to the hundred then i went to the section call hsl and chose the red one and put the saturation and i think it's pronounced luminance all the way to the hundred and then for the blue which i did not want in the video i just tried to make it look less blue more gray kind of stuff and i tried to make them more to the red side and that's not completely possible but of course we can try you can just like play around with these see what you think looks good and then i just decided to end it with a black screen so i can put the 
video, my previous videos, and my channel logo there. Because the green screen glass breaking effects didn't have any sound effects in them, I had to add those and I just used these called like breaking glass sound effects <laughs> simply. And I added two of those again just to like make it last longer. They kind of blend into each other really well and uh, yeah I just messed around with those two yeah that's where the video ends and now for the exporting part i always make sure to first render the video before i watch it just to make sure everything is clear and smooth you know and then let's see oh, that's gonna be done real soon but i am not completely done with the video yet because i will still use my real earbuds to just listen to everything and make sure everything is pretty much in the great volume you know and now for exporting the video i click on the export button and i just change the title to whatever i want and then i save all my videos in the same map which is called movies and i don't really have to worry about these because these are already the default settings i think so we just have the first one here the format's gonna be mp4 and then i go to settings and change the frame rate to 60 frames per second just to get the best quality you know and the resolution's the same uh, i think <laughs> and then i have the quality always as the best because you know i want those quality videos and then i just click on export and hopefully if it's not a long video if it's not a really complicated video i will just export it like that but there are also many cases where the video isn't gonna be completely exported because filmora really loves to crash so let's say uh the last video i made uh the voiceover wait yeah it was a voiceover it was this 10 minute long voiceover i wasn't able to export the video from the beginning to the very end so what i did was i split the video into two parts right in the middle i usually split it like after a black screen or this um what is this anyways um just so there's no like weird split sword cuts just to make sure you know i like to have the the really start of the video like the best quality and you know if you export a video like a lot of times the quality will go down so that's why i choose to export the second half first and what i do is I just remove everything from before what I've chosen to be the halfway and then I move everything from here let's say like um, right here to the beginning and I know that takes much more time than just deleting everything for, from here but since I want the best quality in the beginning I'm just gonna do it my way after I've exported the second half I will have it as a mp4 file and I will import it right here. So the project will basically look like this until the halfway and then it will be the exported video after that. So that's why it's gonna be so much more easier for Filmora to export the whole video if the other half is just a video file, you know with no effects, no green screens, no music. And yeah, I think that's a pretty hard explanation, but once you understand it, you really understand it and you can use that tip. And I actually discovered it myself too. When you edit, you discover a lot of things that you didn't know before. And I've been editing with Filmora for I think over two years. So it's really about like, seeing what you can do with your effects and it's not going to be perfect in the beginning of course but as you work through you will always find solutions to almost every problem so guys i'm still going to show you real quick how i make my thumbnails and i really haven't changed my editing style that much for the like 
last two years or something. What I did was I imported the picture which I had in the really start of the video into PicMonkey and I actually didn't do any adjustments normally I would probably do but because we already have the start screen I just went right over to the effect section and I nowadays always use the Fogel zoom effect and that just makes the screen a little like blurry and you can, you have like the focal point which will not be blurry you know so i chose the thomas tank engine face and my own face as the things to not be blurry because those are like really the focal points of this picture and then i added the star stable logo it's actually black normally but i decided to go with green for this video and it's basically just as an overlay on this picture okay so how i made this text is i basically just okay here now so uh i go to the type tool and then i just write whatever i want the text to be so i'm gonna put right now randomness hashtag six and then i'm gonna fit the text onto the screen right now it's gonna be 105 for me and you want to have the color as black and i always use the font called bubblegum for my thumbnails and then when you have that done you want to merge the layers down so that you basically have the text in the same layer as the background and now we can go ahead and use the van tool and what i do is i click on the first letter and then i click on the shift on the keyboard and now you can see the small plus beneath the van and if you just make a mistake you can just click on control and it will delete everything that you failed and then i go over to the gradient tool and I already chose the colors. I usually use the one with like only two different colors so it doesn't get that messed up. And when I have the colors chosen, I just go over like this. I always try to get it as horizontal as possible and it will make the gradient automatically for you. And then I go to this button called layer styles and I choose the outer glow. And then I put the hardest to 1 and the size to 15. And I change the color from blue to black like that. And then I go over to the drop shadow and I put the opacity to 100 and the distance to 3. And the size is gonna be as it is and same with the angle and the color. And that's how I make the text. And then I just go to files and save it as a PNG. And then I just put them randomly in here, just adjusted them the way I wanted them to be. And then for this text, I just went to the text section and I used the text font called Arial, which I also used in my videos. Uh, you've guys seen it a lot. And I wrote lots and lots of screaming in white and then i went over to the effects and i use the curve from this i just change it to arc arch i don't know and you can just change the curvature as you want it to be and then i go to the style and this is pretty much what i got out of it and i also always use the drop shadow because i think that looks the best and that's pretty much what i do with my photos, I maybe add a little overlay or yeah, whatever I like there to be, but I think this is gonna be good for now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and screenshot the picture with Bandicam. So that is gonna be all for this video. I know my randomnesses are usually pretty short, but that's because I really lack in getting new ideas and I'm not that creative, so yeah. <laughs> I hope this helped some of you guys. My last how I edit my videos was pretty boring and bad, I think. Yeah, I didn't discuss any of the important parts in that video, so I hope this was a little bit more clear to you guys. And if you got any questions, please leave them down in the comments below and yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up uh 
I actually said that first time in forever. And guys, I will see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, that was a derp ending. That was that was really like lit.